What might happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts? It could be harmful, covering a large area with hot ash. However, the occurrence of such cataclysmic events is sporadic. It's a natural wonderland cherished for its stunning landscapes and wildlife. Yet, beneath its serene surface lies an ancient secret, the Yellowstone supervolcano. Discover the marvels and potential perils of this extraordinary place. Yellowstone, established in 1872 as the world's oldest national park, spans three states and covers 3,472 square miles. Its natural beauty attracts around 3 million visitors annually, including old faithful gazers, hiking trails, and diverse wildlife. Deep beneath the park lies the Yellowstone supervolcano, a massive underground hotspot with molten rock that although not expected to erupt soon, would have significant consequences if it ever did. If Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt, it would be bad news. It could instantly harm as many as 90,000 people and cover an enormous area with 10 feet or 3 meters of hot ash stretching 1,000 miles or 1,609 kilometers from the park. But it doesn't stop there. Getting help to the area would be super hard because the ash would block all the roads and the ash and gases in the air would make it nearly impossible to fly, just like when a miniature volcano erupted in Iceland in 2010. Here's another scary thing. Experts worry about nuclear winter. If Yellowstone blew up, sulfuric gases would shoot up into the sky and mix with the water in the atmosphere. This would create a big hazy cloud all over the country. Not only would it make the sunlight dim, but it would also make everything more relaxed. Cooler temperatures might sound nice, but they would mess up our food supply. Crops would die, and the whole food chain would be thrown out of balance, leaving a lot of animals with not much to eat. This is believed to have happened in 535 CE, when a supervolcano erupted in Java. After many months of shaking and quaking, a big earthquake would happen. This would create deep cracks in the Earth's surface that go down to a super hot underground place called the magma chamber, about 7 kilometers deep. When this happens, all the pressure trapped inside the hot, melted rock would burst out. It's like opening a soda bottle that's been shaken too much. The melted rock, which was calm before, would turn into a wild, foamy mess, full of energy and power. This shows us how strong and unpredictable our planet's forces can be and why we should respect and admire them. Here's the good news. A super eruption from Yellowstone isn't something we need to worry about in our lifetimes. The last time it happened was a very, very long time ago, about 640,000 years back. And the experts say there's only a teeny tiny chance, like 0.00014% each year, that it might erupt again. The United States Geological Survey also tells us that the melted rock under Yellowstone or the magma chamber still needs to be fully melted. It's only about 5 to 15% melted, so there might not be enough hot lava for a big explosion. So we can take a deep breath and relax for now. Recent news about Yellowstone steamboat gazers sparked concerns of a major eruption, but scientists have found no scientific basis for such claims. They closely monitor the volcano around the clock, studying gazer eruptions, hot spring temperatures, and ground movements. A new study reveals that the ground is likely to swell significantly before a catastrophic eruption, possibly by several meters. The swelling could continue for many years, even hundreds, before an actual eruption. The key takeaway is that, while a Yellowstone eruption would have global impacts, there will likely be a substantial warning period, giving humanity time to prepare. Yellowstone National Park's beauty and hidden mysteries make it a truly remarkable place. Remember, while the supervolcano may be dormant, our duty to protect and preserve this natural wonder is ever-present. To stay updated on more captivating stories and explore the world's wonders with us, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for future adventures.